Most students are instructed here at John Mandiola with another screencast. This one will be about how to achieve a simple fade off uh, technique in Flash. So I'm going to start by just importing a picture real quickly. And I'm going to use a picture of my son. And there he is right there. Okay, the picture went in. It's really large, so I'm going to pre transform this until it is much. Much smaller. Smaller than that. There we go. And I'll zoom this back to full size. So there's a picture of my son. I'm going to right click and convert him to a symbol. That was down all below off the bottom of the screen there. And I'll call him, uh, I'll just call him Boy Movie Clip. That's good. So there's my Boy Movie Clip. And all I'm going to do is. I'm gonna go, let's say, to frame 30. I'm at 30 frames per second here. Well, I'll do this a little bit slower. Uh, frame 60, right click, insert a keyframe. This keyframe, go to my properties panel. I'm gonna click on him so all these options appear. And I'm gonna go to color effect. And I'm gonna go to alpha. And I set his alpha at zero, that's fine. I'm gonna go all the way back to frame one and make sure that it's alpha is set to 100. So what's going to happen, that's 100 there and 0 at the end, right click and create a classic tween. And if I play this, or test this out, control enter or command enter if you're on a Mac, simply he should, over the course of two seconds, fade off into nothing. And this is just looping, so it starts over again. Now you can actually have more controller if you want. So let's say at this point in time, I'm going to insert a keyframe. Click on him, and his alpha was real low. So the point in time, insert a keyframe. His alpha was really high. Oops, really high. And here it was. Uh, well, and then there at the end, it's low again. So if I test that out, you can see that it's going to more quickly transition through the fades. Things like this, a kind of blinkiness is, you know, maybe some kind of effect that you want or whatever. That's how you can do that. Now what's really nice, you can actually animate this as well. So, uh, I can do it either on the timeline directly, so he's here at this point, and at this keyframe he's over here, at this keyframe he's down here. At this one he can stay right where he was before, it's fine. If I test that out, you can see that he's going to be moving while he's doing all this crazy fading. All right, or a better way to kind of do that to have more control over more flexibility is I do all of this in a uh, symbol. So if I just kind of remove all of these frames here, uh, remove the frames, right click on this one, remove the tween. Actually, um, double click to get inside. Oops. Delete that. Then I go to my library here. I'm going to make a new symbol and I'll call it boy moving. And so for the boy moving, what I want to do is take the boy movie clip right here inside there. And then I'm just going to do it like I did before. So maybe go right click, insert keyframe at this point in time. His alpha will be set to zero. I'm gonna go all the way back to this point in time where his alpha is set to 100. Right click, create that classic tween. Just like we did before, but now if you notice where it says boy moving, that means we're inside this symbol. Okay, that's fine. So click on scene one. Then I'm gonna take from the library the boy moving movie clip, bring it there, and just do a real simple. Uh, animation, insert keyframe here, and he's going to be way over there. And then maybe have him go back, so frame 60, keyframe, and he's going to go back there. And then right click, create classic tween, right click, create classic tween. And what I should see now is he's going to move back and forth and fade off. So you get the idea. So the fading is happening inside of the boy moving movie clip. And then because I can animate the boy moving movie clip on stage, this is what I get. That's all I got. Thank you.